Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to RimWorld. No, your machine's not broken. I just haven't started yet. So, there's a Mad Abex Ram right down here, right real close. He is probably going to get hit on a trap, but I'd be really surprised if he took more than one. He might take a second one, maybe, possibly. We haven't set up these walls yet properly, so in the meantime, we got to assume he's coming through. So, everyone, get ready. We gotta treat this the same way as a raid. If we don't treat this the same way as a raid, we're gonna get messed up. So let's treat this the same way we would any other raid. And just line everybody up. Oh, he died immediately. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, Hobbs, do you mind going over here and picking this body up? Oh, you're not assigned to hauling. So I guess you do mind. But you're assigned to hauling. Yes, you are. Haul this guy. That ram did not last long, but I'm okay with that. He did kill two of our traps, but so it goes. Can we just build up those walls, guys? I guess we're building up these walls first. Oh, Hagros is ready. Good, the rhinoceros is not in any danger of starving. Good to know. Where are you going to put those, by the way? In the refrigerator. Okay, I guess that makes sense. It is technically food. Technically. Okay, or not. Yeah, it's not... Not uh, filed under food. This is foods. Okay, but it's not though. This is food. This is raw food. Okay, food versus raw food. It's a weird designation there, game. Not sure I agree with that. Just need to build a couple more of these walls and then these guys won't be able to get in. Alright, just a little bit. That's totally not what I meant, Shadow, and you were not helpful there. Yeah, go to bed or something, man. You're just not helping today. He's not going to bed. Are you a night owl? Did I totally not see that in your bio? No, you're not a night owl. What are you doing up? Oh, because I didn't set your... Well, you should be... You're not recreating at the right times? Come on, guys. You still shouldn't be up. You should be in bed. Okay, there we go. He's in bed now. Weird. Shorty's going to get recruited eventually, right? Eh, eventually. It's going to happen. It's going to take some time. Not too much time, though. It might happen this episode. We should build another one of these. We have 400 steel. We can totally do it. We can put it right here. Psychic Soothe. Nice. Female gender. And we have some visitors. Okay, I think they're tribal. So they're probably not going to have much, but they at least have some silver we can give us. In exchange for maybe some art. A geothermal power generator right there. And give me a power conduit right there. I don't think we need the power yet, but we are going to need it when we start doing uh, turrets. And we're going to need to be doing turrets pretty soon. Darwin R is working as fast as he can. Um, so where are these? Okay, there's the visitors right there. These guys have no... These are actually the visitors? They are totally the visitors. There's no question marks on them, though, so I can't... Can't trade with them. Yeah, I can't trade with them. So, alright. Hey guys, what's up? I guess. You're not going to do anything. Alright. It's a little better. But we still need... just They build these walls in such a weird way. Like, what is your thinking there? I guess we should probably put in a door, huh? Otherwise they're going to be walking through the traps. And there's a chance they could totally get fucked up that way. Um, sure. We could build doors. Um, the trouble is that the way I've constructed this, the traps, I mean, is that there's actually no straight path. Uh, what we could do is build a door over here. It is technically a weak point, but um, let's make it out of marble. It's slightly less of a weak point, but it's still going to be pretty bad. But at least then if they need to go through that way, they should prioritize that path, I think. Well, assuming that the, you know, the marble door ever gets made. These traps take so long to build. Come on. There you go. And then, can you... Yeah, go prioritize this door, though. That's going to be pretty important if we want to actually, you know, make this work. Cargo pods, they're dropped over here. 
Devil Strand. You know what? Sure, I'll pick it up. If nothing else, we can sell it. Probably not going to use it. Chunks of spacecraft. All right. All the way down here. Okay, sure. Why not? Minor break risk on Hobbs and Shadow. Okay, there we go. That's just done. There, that's at least something. I mean, that needs to be done, but this is this is in good shape. We're better off going to... Okay, Manhunter back. Over that way. But they have to go all the way around. That's a lot of them, too. Okay. All right, we have five Manhunter Ibex Rams. They're going to destroy our traps for sure. But do we need to worry about them otherwise? Good question. We'll find out. They're totally coming for us, though. Yeah, here they come. All right, let's treat this like we would a raid. Just to be on the safe side. So, peace. Hobbs. Genity. Venom. Oops, Venom over this way. Shadow. Darwin. Over here, guys. They might just immediately die on the traps. Where the hell did they go? Hold up. How did they... I have hole in my defense. I don't know where. But I do. How the hell did they get inside? Did they dig? How did they get inside the base? On the upside, everyone is outside, so they're not in any danger. Except for T7, who's sleeping. Also not in any danger. But how the hell did they get inside the base? Okay, there is a door open there, but there's no... I don't get it. How the hell does this happen? Did they go around? This is sealed off, so that's not a thing. How the hell did they get inside the base? That's sealed off. That's sealed off. Except for the door there. They should have had to go around this way. We had the same problem with one of the raiders doing that too. We need to like double wall these, I guess. I don't know what the hell's up. How the hell are we going to get these guys out? That's the real question. Okay, well, we can line up here. It's going to be ugly, but we can do it. So here you go, guys. Over here. Speed one. Please hit something. That was a lot of shots. The machine pistol probably counted for a lot of that. Come on, just die. Thank you. Okay, they should be coming for you. If they're manhunters, they should. T7 is still sleeping. So everyone, all the other manhunters should be coming this way. Except they're not. I don't know why. They should have pathing saying, hey, come this way. If you see anybody. Here we go. It's a lot of bullets, but I don't think it's going to work. Oh, okay, there we go. Kill him. There we go. He's dead. Got two more men. How the hell are they getting in? Makes no goddamn sense. New lovers, too. Somehow the battle of the Ibex Rams has caused people to fall in love. I don't understand, but sure. Okay, we done? Manor pack is down. Manhunter pack looks like it's down. All right, good. Everyone be unrecruited. And we're going to figure this out, guys. I don't know what the hell is going on. There must be a hole. I just don't see it. Maybe they dig? I don't know. But there must be a hole. Oh. There's totally a hole right here. To the river. I keep thinking of the river as a big object that's stopping me. But it's not. So there's totally a hole right there. Okay. That's obviously what it is. Well, new lovers. Hobbs tried to woo Genity by complimenting her origin. All right. Genity became aroused and be agreed to become Hobbs' lover. Hobbs and Genity now want to sleep together. Consider signing them double bed. Well, they have a double bed now, so congratulations, guys. You're sleeping together. I guess that means we will need one less bedroom than before. So, yay. Just let these guys bleed to death. Visitors, okay. Blue Sound Union. 
Hopefully we can actually trade with him this time. But yeah, that's the hole. That's where the Raiders came in last time, too. Okay, we sealed that off. We should be in good shape. That's going to be our priority. As um, soon as Peace wakes up, we'll totally seal that off. We still have other stuff to build, but that's got to be our priority. Because that's a huge, 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 huge hole in our defenses. And somehow I didn't even pick up on. I keep thinking of the river as this monolith that you can't get past, but that's not true at all. It just reduces movement speed, but that's not the same thing. Okay, so you guys... Okay, thanks for cleaning up, Genity. I appreciate it. Peace slowly reduces their resistance. Repairs the battery, which I appreciate. And instead of building that limestone wall, why don't you go ahead and build on these? Um, game? Okay. It paused there, and I don't know exactly how that worked. I don't know what the hell he was doing there either. Bouncing back and forth. Are you shitting me right now? At least they're approaching from the right direction. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, they're only tribals. There's only three of them. A bow, a knife, and a bow. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, sorry, Peace, but actually, no, keep working on that, Peace. Let's not put Peace on the front lines. Let's stop doing that, because that's our, that would be a failure, failure condition, for sure. So Venom, get recruited, come over here. Shadow, get recruited, come over here. Darwin R is resting, so there's only three of them. We should be able to handle this. Come on, guys. But let's stop putting Peace on the front lines. Let's let him just construct and do whatever he needs to do. Oh, that's right. They're going to prepare for a while and then attack. I totally forgot that was a thing. Um, so, never mind, guys. Go and get back to work. Until they're ready to repair. Darwin is at least fully healed. Um, Peace, could you actually repair this wall? Or work on the bridge? Or whatever the hell you need to do to make this work? Please tell me you're not done. Work on bridge. You absolute crazy person. Okay, here we go. Beginning our assault. Alright. So, Hobbs. Recruited. Come over here. Genity. Recruited. Come over here. Venom. Recruited. Come over here. Shadow. Recruited. Come over here. Darmanar. Recruited. Come over here. Let's go. Okay. They have disabled... Yeah, they hit by a couple of the traps. And that was enough. They're totally done. Good to go. Um, go ahead and pick up their bows, because what the hell? That's all we needed. That wasn't so bad. We just need to repair the traps. We're good to go. That wasn't so bad. Finish machining. That's great. I have no idea where the hell the visitors are. They must be gone by now, so we'll just let that go. The wall is done, so now we no longer have that hole in our defense. Don't know how the hell I missed that. Sorry if you guys were screaming at me in that in the comments. But uh, now we know. Oh, there's a, there's a hole in our sandstone wall. It's not done yet. We'll get to it. Uh, looks like we just finished. Oh, we got two of them over here. We're not finished yet. Break risk on... Okay. Base risk on Shadow. What's up, Shadow? Recreation deprived. Rebuffed by Genity. Is Doesn't Genity like Hobbs right now? So that's not going to work out well for you, man. I don't know why you're recreation deprived, though. I guess a little bit too much time sitting on duty. Rather than doing anything else. That's alright. Yeah, Hobbs and Genity are together, man. That's why she rebuffed you. She's already in a relationship, you absolute madman. Don't do that. You don't do that. Someone's in a relationship, you don't go ask them out. Hey, if you decide to drop that guy, I'm available. No, man, that looks like a douche move, alright? Don't do that. We're gonna need more food. Uh, the corn crop is gonna come in, but we're definitely gonna need more food. I'm gonna make another farm. Probably about the size of the haygrass farm. And we're gonna make that all about corn. Animal starvation. One of the huskies needs food. Um, that should be someone's job. You have handling available for everybody. Toxic fallout. Shit. 
Any person or creature not under a roof will be slowly sickened by the toxic dust settling out of the atmosphere. Plus anywhere between a few days to over a season. Um, so we have 16 days of food. That's about a season. But everything is going to die. Shit. Okay. Okay. Well, we have enough power. As long as nothing breaks. Well, guys. Um, yes, we're staying indoors. So we're going to make a brand new zone. Um, give me... That's a sign, right? Uh, restrict. Yeah, restrict. Manage areas. We're going to make a brand new area. We're going to call it indoors. Okay. And everyone's only allowed indoors. All the animals indoors. Um, I don't know. We're probably going to have to kill them all, but maybe not. Uh, we'll figure it out. So zone. Find a lot area indoors and guess what it's just gonna cover the stuff that's guys you guessed it indoors so there you go guys indoors there and indoors there okay that's it everything else is going to die so you're not allowed anywhere else let's come indoors guys it's a toxic fallout wasteland out there and we do not want any part of that um we should try to harvest the corn. Yeah, because the corn's about ready to go. It's going to be a little risky. There's definitely going to be some toxic problems there, but we should try to harvest that. So everybody is going to do... Actually, nope, just plant cut, huh? Not even harvest, just cut the plants. Cut them straight down. The heel root could be a problem too, but we don't actually need that right now. So we just need everyone to cut plants. So everyone cut plants and then everyone haul. Come on, just give me there. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna assign everyone to the home zone for that. Um, assign, nope, restrict home zone for that that's your main mission guys you're gonna go and cut down these plants because we just need the food and then we need to haul shoot cutting down also involves trees not what i expected it's gonna cause some definite consternation i think but guys what are you doing you're cutting down the wrong things Resistance broken, which is good, but okay. As soon as the plant cut's done, and it should be pretty soon. Yeah, I don't care if the harvest gets botched; it's fine. Some food's better than no food. This is our last chance to get any food at all, and then stop plant cutting and just haul. They're going to do a little bit of toxic buildup, but this will give us a better chance, I think, to make it. Now, T7, what are you doing, man? Just get inside. If you're not going to do it right, get inside. And then that'll do it for the day. Just haul in that corn, man. That corn is super important. The hay grass, less so. Oh, the rhinoceros is totally gonna you know what the raiders they can just they can raid whatever um fine from right now everyone indoors the raiders if they come in they come in if they die through the traps great but i want no one else having any more toxic um the rhinoceros is gonna have to be slaughtered i'm sorry just no way we have enough food you just gotta die so what about these raiders and they're probably, if they're just lurking about, and I've totally took away, took away the notifications, so I have no idea where they are. I have no idea where they are. I mean, they can only come from one direction now, unless they decide to go past the defenses for whatever reason. Which they might. Oh, here we are. Here they are. So, yeah, they're going to prepare for a while and then attack. 
Look at their health. They are going to get toxic buildup. It takes a long time to build up, though, so chances are they're, they're going to raid before that's really an issue. Now, for lucky, the toxic fallout's just going to last a couple of days. If we're unlucky, this 18 days worth of food is going to get down real quick. But killing the rhinoceros should help us, I think. I don't think anyone can eat hay grass. I think even with the Nurnter machine, that's probably a little bit too much to ask. Uh, with the traps and shit, I think we're going to be in trouble. Let's see. Speed one. Let's see what happens. One, two should probably kill him, except, yeah, he's going to get hit there. He did go away from it, though. Okay, so they're going to try to come in. What are you going to try to destroy first? You're going to attack an overwall cooler. And that's bad, I'll admit. Um, so you... I mean, text of build-up takes a while to build up. Recruit. Come over here. Recruit. Come over here. Let's go, guys. Since they're recruited, they can disobey direct orders, like stay outside or stay inside indoors. You guys, right here is fine. Peace. I keep doing that to you, peace. Go, go away. Come on, just freaking die already, Ali. There we go. They're done. Everyone back indoors. You too, Shadow. Oh, Shadow's the one with one leg, huh? That's why he's so slow. Guess that makes sense. That was horrible. But now they're just going to be toxic fallout people for right now. It's a bad time for a raid. Oh, they're trying to go through the door. Damn it. They're just going to break through rather than go all the way around. Shit. Yeah, they broke the door. Okay. Well, we'll deal with that once the toxic fallout's done. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. You guys have got to rest up. It's going to be some time. Shorty's going to maybe get recruited. It's the worst time in the world to get recruited right now, but so it goes. Speed three, guys. Let's do this. Hopefully the fallout does not last the rest of the episode. It's possible it will, though. You guys rest up. T3, T7, rather, is going to take care of you guys. And the Husky's going to at least eat. The rhinoceros just ate some food, though. We've got to we've gotta kill that rhinoceros, I think. Failed training on the release. Not so much for that. Is someone going to kill this fucking rhinoceros? Anybody? Hobbs. Prioritize slaughtering before he eats any more food. We can take him to the refrigerator, but it's got to happen. At least the geothermal generator and the wind generator are not dependent on toxic. Solar would definitely be reduced. Okay, there we go. 19 days worth of food, so killing a rhinoceros did help. And then, yeah, you guys repair the indoors. We got a new recruit. Okay. Shorty. Um, that's not your name anymore. What is your name now? Your name is... Uh, well, now, Frank we already had recently, so not Frank. Okay, I have not seen that one before. So yeah, we'll do this one. This is going to be Tixeria VSC, which is an interesting name. So Tixira VSC. You are a subscriber from YouTube. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the, the colony. You might die. I don't know. Toxic Fallout. As long as you stay indoors, it's usually okay. Oh, you're a great medic. Okay, good to know. Um, you're a good handler. Um, everyone else should probably stop constructing. That is no longer a needed thing that everyone needs to do. Um, I guess everyone should... Yeah, everyone has cleaning. Everyone is hauling. We can probably reduce hauling down to three. Except for our new guy. New guy should always haul. Oops. Three going around the hard way. I really wish you just type in numbers. That'd be great. Can we just type in numbers? Um, but other than that, guys, you're kind of stuck in here. Sorry about that. Um, Texira. 
I'm sorry, what part of be indoors did you miss? Definitely be recreating and stuff, but yeah, we're pretty much set there. Okay. A tattered apparel, go fix that. We've got plenty of cloth, guys. If you got tattered apparel, just go ahead and fix that up. Oh, you know what? Because I didn't restrict, or didn't assign, rather. Um, yeah, you're now a soldier. And you are now a soldier. There. Okay. They should go fix that as soon as possible. Oh, what do you know? A dry thunderstorm at the same time. Sure, why not? Minor break risk, yeah. Well, I mean, you're going to get some break risk for just being indoors all the time. Just how that's going to go. Um, we should not worry about fire. Our entire base is surrounded by... Yeah, I'm going to shut off fire out of fighting. Entire base surrounded by stone, we should be okay. But a toxic fallout. I mean, people are just going to be idle. Well, maybe that'll improve their mood, you know? You get to do stuff indoors, and maybe it's good. Um, we could probably also make a pool table. Can I make a pool table? Let's make a pool table. Um, so that's recreation. Billiards table, sorry. Uh, 110 wood and 80 cloth. We totally have that. So here, pool table right here. That was going to be our works... Um, yeah, that was going to be our workspace, but we can have it dual purpose. We have a fire indoors, really? Where? Oh, yep, yep, that's gonna, just going to burn. Just let it burn. It's toxic out there. I'm not going to do anything with that. Just let it burn. Just go to sleep, guys. It's fine. Oh, look at that. He's got a dog. Isn't that cute? Okay, piece is fully healed. That's what we like to see. He's going to go ahead and make a billiards table for people to enjoy. You know what? Let's make a um, new furniture standing lamp right in here. It's probably a good idea to have a have a lamp near the billiards table so people aren't complaining about, oh no, you totally scratched that. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. And all that bullshit. You know, you need well-lit areas. Bars notwithstanding. I know bars are usually places that have billiards tables. They aren't necessarily well lit, but I think it's a good idea to, to do that just to make sure there's a little confusion over what's going on on the table. Also, the mood gets improved. Okay. Fallout's lasted yet some more time. Um, I mean, if we die without food, it's very possible. We have not researched hydroponics. We could die without food here. Well, we could make a machining table. Something just crashed, I think. Yeah, seven colonists idle. Not surprising. There's only so much cleaning you can do in an area like this. Uh, well, we do have everything indoors. We could try... Okay, how about this? We will put down a floor. Marble tile. Let's floor over the bedroom. That'll get people working. At least some people, anyway. Then we'll probably floor over to the rec room, I guess. Or maybe the workshop, because they're going to spend a lot of time in there. Yeah, piece is the only one really doing anything there. How about this? If you guys don't have anything else to do, you can go ahead and construct. All right? And you probably don't have anything else to do. It's not going to take that long to get the, the prison cell done. Yeah, okay. And then do the same thing for the other bedrooms in here. Like so. Get a lot of shaking going on. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Could be just a result of the toxic fallout. It's just being really bad out there. But any animals outside and any plants are going to die pretty quick to this toxic fallout. Um, yeah, so there's plants out here. and Sorry, animals over here. And they've already started dying. Yep, toxic buildup extreme. With dementia, that's what happens with toxic fallout sometimes. Billiards need space. What? You're telling me I built it in the wrong place? It is into an obstruction that will prevent colonists from using. Oh, it must be right next to that. Yeah, okay. It's got to be around it. So, uh, reinstall. Okay, it needs all that clear space. I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, so, we can build it over here instead. Yeah, it can't be there. It's got to be here. Okay. I was not aware it needed all that free space. Otherwise, you're just not going to use it. It's worthless buying it. Um... 
Hobbs is going to move that over. Thank you, Hobbs. Appreciate that. Just lifted that biller's table. Just shoved it into place. Good work, man. Okay. 16 days worth of food. When we get around single digits, I'll start worrying. Right now, it's just okay. I mean, it sucks. Everyone's going to have cabin fever. It's going to be a thing, but hopefully the builder's table helps. I'll let them build in the... I mean, I've been meaning to do this anyway, so now's a good time as any. It's just going to be one of those times, you know? Toxic fallout. Horrible thing. Lasted 2.9 days. It's only been two days. It's only been two days. I mean, there's some areas where toxic fallout just happens for, like, months at a time. Um, what does toxic fallout come from? Good question. Uh, it comes from... Well, it could come out from another sources. I mean, toxic fallout usually will come out from some kind of nuclear device use. But I think what they're trying to show is that um, you could get it from, I mean, usually nuclear winters from this, but usually from, like, volcanic fallout could be toxic. Uh, it could be because of a power plant disruption. It could be because, um, it's just a natural feature of this planet's ecology. It's toxic to us, but to other wildlife, it could be totally fine. Um, this is a planet that's, like, on the rim, so... The lore reasons for it is that it uh, could be part of a failed ecological experiment. Like, the reason why there's so many animals around here is that supposedly this place has been seeded with Earth-like life. But that doesn't always work perfectly every time. Okay, do I have enough for this? I want to do this entire room, which we do not have enough. Okay. So cancel that then. How much do we have? We have 416. Only one we might have enough for is out of sandstone. Not wild about that. No, I think instead we'll just let them... Let them sit. We could probably floor over, like, the kitchen or something, but I don't think that's worth it. Nobody really spends that much time in the kitchen. They're spending all their time in the rec room. So, that's fine. Research finished. Prosthetics. That's good, I guess. We should probably build a prosthetics table. Uh, or machining table, rather. Actually, I didn't do that before. Let's do that now. So, there you go. Machining table. Go ahead and build that up. And then we can give, um... What's his name? His leg. I've totally forgotten who it is. Is it Shadow? I think it's Shadow, right? Yeah, Shadow. Okay. So, give me a prosthetic, please. Prosthetic leg. I don't really know who's going to do that, but somebody somewhere sometime. And we can do more research for... I mean, if it comes down to it, we might need hydroponic. Where's hydroponic at? Here we go. Hydroponics. We might need that. So might as well research it now and see what we can do. Yeah, okay, I was going to make the leg, which I appreciate. I mean, you had nothing else to do. Might as well, right? But, yeah, he's gonna... Why are you eating raw food? There's nothing in the hopper. Why are the hoppers... Oh, because they're in more... Yeah, the priority is important, but these need to be less so, huh? These need to be one down from important. So, preferred. How about that? Okay, so copy those settings. Zoom in here. And paste. They need to be preferred. Okay, that's what's wrong. Otherwise, they'll eat raw food, and they'll definitely get a penalty from that. Worse penalty than just eating Nutri-Paste. So they'll rearrange that, hopefully. But yeah, I totally forgot. They'd this is important. This is preferred. Um, yeah. That sucks. Oh, well. Okay. Aiko is pregnant. Now is not a time for the Husky to be pregnant. Okay, there we go. Got an interface meal in there now. Yeah, there we go. They'll start doing that. That's better. Thank you. Appreciate the resorting there. Uh, and now we're out of power. So there's a solar flare. Fuck. Everyone's still got to stay indoors, though. 
I'm at least the battery's full. As soon as the solar flare is over, which hopefully shouldn't be more than a day, then we'll be fine. But wow, that's some bad luck. Toxic fallout and a solar flare. Well, I mean, it's not warm at least. Yeah, that's something. If we're not too cold. I mean, it's happened in the fall. Could be worse. I'm really surprised the trees are still alive. This much toxic fallout uses kills the trees. Too sweet. Can't tell. Bandit camp quest. That is not going to happen. Cargo pods. I'd like to. Believe me, I'd love to. But it's just milk. So, fuck that noise. But yeah, the rhinoceros has been died because of the toxic fallout. Solar flare is ending. Good. We should definitely mark these to be done later. Oh, I already did. All right, great. Um, yeah, so we'll just ignore that that particular cargo pod. So the prosthetic is done? No, Hobbs is still working on it. He's almost done, though. As soon as he's done with that, we will mark Shadow for re uh, for surgery. So we can get, at least get a leg, get some movement along. All right, so build complete prosthetic leg. So... Who's going to be working on that? Our best medic. You have an 8. You have a 4. You have a 3, so not you. Not you. You have a 4. You have a 2. You have a 4. Okay, so it's definitely Texira. So Texira is going to work on Shadow. Shadow. Get you an operation, my dude. We're going to have you a brand new left leg. Alright. Alright. I mean, it's only a prosthetic. It's not a. It's not bionic or anything. We're not ready to do that yet. But as um, soon as you're ready to go, Shadow, we will totally do that. All right. Thank you. Six, you're gonna do that right now. Yep, installing prosthetic legs. Here we go. Don't fuck this up, Texira. Um, where are you going? Are oh, you going to go actually grab the leg? That actually makes total sense. I'm gonna speed that up a little bit. So you grab that. Come back. I'm going to give him some anesthetic and then get to work. Okay, here we go. Getting to work. Please don't fuck this up. That's all I ask. I'd really like Shadow to live through this operation. I'd prefer you didn't chop off the wrong limb, all right? I know it's something that happens sometimes. Catastrophically failed. All right. What happens? Okay. Um, stabbed him a bit in a couple of places and totally in the wrong... Like, why were you touching his right shoulder at all? But we lost the leg. The leg is gone. We need to build another one. She failed so catastrophically she messed up the leg. I don't know how the hell you did that, Texira, but okay. Shadow is hoping to wake up with a new leg. That did not happen. She has like a 7 in medicine. How did she screw up so bad? Medicine's eight, not even a seven, eight. Okay, well, so much for that. Shadow's gonna have to stay down and heal for a bit. In the meantime, Hobbs, can you make another prosthetic leg? Because apparently we lost the last one. I don't know how, but it happened. Just accept it. Anyone can make it, it doesn't have to be Hobbs. Okay, minor brick risk. It's all right. I mean, probably because, you know, we're inside all the time. Yeah, Hob's going to make a new leg. It's going to happen. It's going to take some time. Then we'll try that again. Hopefully when Shadow's fully healed so that he doesn't, you know, die on the operating table. How did she mess up so bad? It's well lit. I guess it's not sterile. We should probably be researching sterile equipment. We just need hydroponics in case this toxic fallout lasts longer than we have food. And when it comes down to it, I will start banishing people from the colony. But that's when we get down to low single digits of food. Did he actually finish? He finished the prosthetic leg. Okay, let's wait till Shadow heals fully. Yeah, before we assign another surgery. He's, uh, he got really badly hurt there. If that happens again, he might just straight up die. At least in his current state. So let's just wait for it. Yeah, just uh, have a party, guys. It's, uh, it's that type of thing. Go to the rec room if you want. I guess we can start moving stuff over to the rec room. We're going to like actually make that a rec room. Sad wonder for Shadow. 
Yeah, he was expecting a new leg. Didn't happen. It's wonder about. Being all your about it. Oh, bother. It's all right. I didn't really want a leg anyway. It probably just fall off. Oh, bother. Well, I'm sure it's fine. Don't mind me. I'll just be here in the dining room, poking about, looking at stuff, thinking about things, but nothing important. Don't worry about me, guys. Just go ahead and go to bed. I'll just look at the wonderful legs that are constructed on this table and these chairs and wonder if they have so many legs. Why can't I have them either? I mean, look at this chair. It has four beautiful legs. Isn't that special? But me, I only have the one. Well, that's the way things are sometimes. Guess I'll just wander about for a bit. And that's about all I can do. More of a hobble, really. But who needs more than one leg? At least I have the one. That's so one thing you gotta always appreciate about Yor, is that yeah, he's sad and depressed, sure, but also if you pay attention to the words he's, he says, he's actually trying to cheer himself up. And there we go, Shadow no longer wandering about. You should probably go to bed, Shadow. Go to the hospital. We will... You know what, I think you're actually good enough. We will try that again, alright? Replace your left leg. We're gonna do it this time, Shadow. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I'm not even going to slow it down, all right? We're not going to be super spiffy about this. Don't fuck this up, Tex. TX. Come on. Do it. Do it. To work. I think it worked. He does have a prosthetic leg. Huzzah! He was in a sad wonder, but no longer. He is now Shadow the Prosthetic Man. It's almost like Bionic Man, except he's maybe the 10 buck man instead of the $10 million man. That's okay. Still did it. Shadow's in a better state than he was. His movement is now... Well, okay, it's bad now, but... You know, that's because he's under anesthetic. You can try moving around under anesthetic. It's not possible. It's not doable. Not not gonna happen. But look at that. He's moving around almost normal speed. I'm moving weakened, yeah. But 92%. That's better than the 50% it was before. And we get him bionic, which we totally will replace that leg with the bionic leg when we get the ability. We'll be in really good shape. 11 days worth of food, guys. I'm kind of worried. I'm a little worried. All the animals on the map are dead. The trees, surprisingly, are very hardy. The bugs in here, totally fine. They're not going to go outside. Why do they care? But all the other animal life on the on the map is dead. Just, just dead. We had some beautiful muffalos over here. They're dead. Went some rhinoceroses. They're totally dead. We had a bunch of deer over here. Dead. Uh, Andrew? Uh, where'd Andrew go? Maybe Andrew's hiding. Maybe he was smart enough to get off the map. If so, way to go, Andrew. But yeah, maybe he was smart enough to leave. Got some raccoons around that are totally, of course, dead. Boom rat dead. Go Frenzy. Experience an inspiration. He'll move faster than 88 days. Um, yeah, he loves his new leg so much he's running around on it. That's great. That's great. Hey, a new leg. Yay. Hey, look at this. I'm going to whoa. I'm going to go over this way. I'm going to go over this way. Hey, you got to stop me over here. I'm going over there. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Look at this. I can run. Huzzah. Look at that. I didn't even have to do that. I did it anyway. That's great. That's fantastic. Good for you, Shadow. Good for you. Yeah, sure. Why not? Train these guys how to haul. Take seven. We might as well, right? We have nothing else to do all day. Oh, man. We don't have that much food. Oh, well, I guess we have we have a bit. Eleven days, right? I mean, let's not worry until we get down to five. When we get down to five days and it's still toxic build up there, then we got to worry. But hydroponics is almost ready. Where the hell are we going to put these? I have no idea. Um, and I guess we're going to make just potatoes all the time. Because I think that's the only thing that can grow in hydroponic fast enough. Marriage is on. Hobbs proposed to Genity. Okay. Looks like those crazy kids are going to try to make it work. 
All right. Um, I don't think we have a marriage room specifically, but we can make one. Um, that miscellaneous marriage spot. Here we go. Spectators can watch from either side. We'll go ahead and put it there at the head of the table, because that seemed to make sense to me. Put the party spot here, too. There. So they know to do it inside the, the rec room. Those crazy kids are going to make it work. Research finished. Hydroponics. Okay, so we should do that, like, right now. Like, right now. Is that... Yeah, here we go. Hydroponics Basin is 100 steel. That's crazy. So we can do two of these. Which isn't a whole lot, but at least it's something. So one there, and the trouble is we don't really have any light. Ah, oh, fuck. We don't have any light. How the hell are we going to do this on any light? I need to think about this more. We could make a sun lamp, but it's going to eat up all of our power. Basically all of our power. Without building this, it's going to be all of our power. We need to build this. But we can't because it costs 340 steel and we just can't do it. Shit. Need a research project. Well, you know what? Um, sterile materials. That was going to be our next on our list anyway. Let's put that in the hospital. Probably increases chance of surgery success and all that good stuff. Okay. Well, the toxic fallout continues. And that'll do it with this episode. Thank you for watching. This has been RimWorld. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.